Well, you can never say never. I never thought I'd be in Alaska. And that's me in an Alaskan snowbank yesterday, digging out a car. And what was really neat is over to the side, you can kind of see the police car. So in 03, I drove across the country and I said I'd never do that again. And this summer, I drove 11,223 miles around the country. So you really can never say you'll do anything. Never say never. I also said I'd never Twitter in every photo pretty much of me, except when I'm digging out snow, I'm on my iPhone Twittering. And it's, uh, how many of you are Twitter addicts? I'm hardly normal, and uh, Invisible People is the other feed, which is hardly normal light. I also said I'd never be homeless. That's me, 15 years ago. I was a television executive. I did some small shows, Wheel of Fortune, Jeopardy, Married with Children, never met Vanna White. I was from the manufacturing end. But I did, ended up homeless. We have a problem. We're ignoring homelessness. Last year, there were 7 million jobs lost. We have a crisis coming, and we need to start paying attention. Now, when you see photos like this or like this, what do you think? What first comes to your mind? Anybody? Please be honest. Okay, good answer. Anybody else? Too lazy to work? Good. Anybody else? These are good answers. I encourage the honesty. Okay. Anybody else? What happened to them? That's a very good segue. So that's Randy. Randy was looking for work for four years. I met Randy panhandling on an intersection in San Francisco. He actually goes by the name of Popcorn. Dale did two tours of Vietnam. All that he can get from the VA is coffee and donuts. I met Dale when he was positioning himself to get into a trash can. Rashad was at 9-11 at 9.30 in the morning at the World Trade Center. Worked for four years in the construction, cleaning it up. Developed health issues, lost his job, lost his apartment. He lives in a park in New York City. Drew, a car hit his, what, his wife was driving. Drunk driver killed his wife and his daughter. He went on a tailspin when I met him in Tampa, Florida. He was homeless five months and there was no support services to get him out. Drew was an engineer. She, I met in Detroit. She lives with her children in a car, four children in a car. She actually has six children, but living in cars is actually illegal in most communities. She sleeps next to her car because living in her car is illegal and she was arrested for it. So she puts out a sleeping bag and sleeps next to her car. And this is in Berkeley, California. But that's homelessness. The average age of a homeless person in America is nine years old. That statistic was in 2007. So when you see the chronic homelessness, which is alcohol, drugs, and you have all those images, that's the image that you need to see. These are actual photos that I took in either homeless shelters or out on the streets or in day centers, and that's Alexandria. Um, I met her and helped her family get into a hotel voucher and hopefully into a new life. Uh, this is a home, my favorite photo that I've ever taken of a homeless family. Uh, what I really loved about this father is I watched him all morning and he would not let his daughter um, feet touch the ground. It was one of the most gorgeous experiences that I've ever seen. So here you have it. Here I am. I'm traveling the country, and I'm using this thing called an iPhone. And what, you know, to me, we have a choice. We have a choice with our social media responsibility. We can either tweet and talk about Dog the Bounty Hunter reruns, or the bologna sandwich we just saw, or that there's a dachshund running across the road, and stuff that's really socially irrelevant. Or we can talk about Luke who I just met last night out panhandling on one of the roads here. And on this next slide, I can't get Bernice out of my mind because Bernice was just so overwhelmed when I simply gave her gloves and socks. 
So all of you, with your iPhone, let's do something. We do have power, and we can change the world. Thank you.